everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. Sorry, I have not done a video in a day or two. I made the mistake of <laughs> attempting to clean out the closet in my craft studio. I moved into this room about a year ago when my son moved out. <clears throat> they, uh, they just live up in town. But the one thing that I never addressed <laughs> was this closet. And now I know why. It was literally floor to ceiling full of 20-something year old guy stuff. <laughs> From video games to you name it. Clothes, shoes, guitars, everything. So, we pulled it all out, Hubby and I, over the weekend. I started it on Friday, and so he helped me out on the weekend. And we finally made it through it all. There's a tiny little bit of stuff left to move out, and it's mainly just my grandson's, a few games and stuff like that. So that'll be very simple. And then I'll get to put stuff in my closet! My own stuff. So, that'll just take another week or so. <laughs> So if you don't see me again for a week, you'll know why. But this is just real quick to give you an update on some of the polymer clay stuff I've been doing. And I'll come back after this and I have a mini album that I finished over the weekend. I haven't done a mini album in a while, so I'm kind of excited about this one. This is just, I was just playing around again with some of the, mm -hmm, the Sculpey original, so it's white that I've just painted black and for Christmas last year I may have said this before I did pocket stones sorry for the Lindy stamp gang that I absolutely cannot get off and I need to paint my nails so this was just uh, playing around to make a worry stone pocket stone worry stone my grandfather always carried a worry stone as uh, as far back as my memory goes uh, an ivory colored alabaster worry stone in his pocket so uh, they kind of hold a special place for me so for all the guys in my family last year that's what I made them I'm um, sorry not last year year before I made them all worry stones of different kinds like my brother-in-law his was a baseball and it was flat like this and round and had stitching lines on it so it was really cute so I did that I did a football one for uh, my nephew and you know different things like that uh, my little nephew my sister's <laughs> my baby sister's son I made his a um, it was a dinosaur claw like from Jurassic Park and so he absolutely loved it he got that and I made him a Western journal it he loves Clint Eastwood so I made it all Western themed and I stuck some little uh, printouts of some Clint Eastwood pictures and stuff like that and so he really, really loved that. I made it have a big pocket with some uh, colored pencils in it and stuff like that. So he really got a kick out of that. These beads, on the other hand, are... I had seen on Pinterest over and over again about using a recordable CD. And that... Whoa, sorry about that. If you go on the front side and you score just along the inside edge right here like right there where my thumbnail is score right there and then same thing score just inside the silver on the outside and then you take your clay and you burnish it on there and it did take some burnishing let me tell you that it will peel off I'll try to find the link to the to the one um, tutorial I did find and it was an older tutorial um, the one thing I would suggest is after you score the inside um, edges is to score a line down the down the surface right here that will um, help it to have a place to let go of so anyway supposedly after you burnish 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 it'll let go well I have since found that <coughs> sorry I've got a dry spot in my throat if you do that score like I like I was talking about, 
You can actually take your tissue blade and probably a razor blade would work just as well. Let's see if I can put my hand on my tissue blade. If you'll take that tissue blade, you can get under the edge of this and just lift it up a little bit. And it's a little easier to work with that way. That being said, it's very brittle. There's no way to keep it from cracking and breaking that, that I've been able to tell. And um, the tutorial that I looked at said the same thing. So that's, that's how I've done these. And this one was just made like you make the paper beads. Cut a long triangle and then just twist it up on itself. And I've gone back and, and reamed a hole with my big needle. This one was literally just the scrap that I had left over. And it's almost one of my favorite ones. The sparkle on it is fantastic. Sorry. And then I went back with the little scrap I had left on the disc and I made two smaller ones. Okay, so that's those. Then, a friend of mine, Mary Ann K Kinglesmith. I'm sorry, Mary Ann, if I got your name wrong. Um, had done some coffee beans one time. And this has been uh, a year and a half ago or so. And so I had wanted to try some ever since then. And so just with the little piece of scrap clay that I had left, I, I fashioned up a coffee bean. And then proceeded to pass it around to everybody that came along and said, what do you think this is? Yeah, very few people got it right. So my husband did. He knew, all, he knew instantly it was a coffee bean. But he drinks coffee, I don't, so. That all being said, here's what I've been up to. First of all, I'll just show these. Just a random pair of polymer clay earrings. And these bottom ones are done. I actually did these, like I said, probably two years ago. I had gotten, um, in a purchase, some samples of some liquid Sculpey in colors. Some copper... Uh, pearl, gold, silver, and I think one of them was maybe green. And I made these little ovals, faux pearls, and while we're, while they were hot, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today, while they were hot straight out of the oven, I drizzled that liquid Sculpey on, and it pretty much set straight away. Otherwise, the liquid Sculpey is very fluid so it just wants to flow so the only way to use it like this is to have a hot bead first so these have a, a spiral design all the way around um, almost looks like icing so there's those here are the coffee bean beads so I made some little coffee earrings, latte earrings, whatever you want to call them. And then these are just the same thing, but no uh, long dangles. These are just a shorter earring. And then the skull beads that I that, uh, did a while back, I made some earrings from those. I had a friend come by on the day that I did the video, actually, of the skull beads. She saw those beads, and she wanted earrings. She said, I've got a Halloween party coming up, and those would be so cute so Rach honey this is for you one of these pairs of earrings this is just for you hey get on there so there we go without the glare and so I've stuck them on one of my cards this one's just spooky stuff from the just spooky stuff collection so there those are and then this is the one I actually did in the video this particular skull and I just made a big chunky charm with a little ghostly dangle kind of down at the bottom. So just playing around. That is what I've been up to. I shall return. I've got a few more in the making of those CD the foil. I'm gonna call it that CD foil. <laughs> and I've dripped a little alcohol ink on these. These have not been baked yet or cleaned up or trimmed or anything like that. So um, The only other thing was 
this little, if I can hold it the right way. <coughs> My grandfather was um, not only a wood carver, but he did leather work. He made saddles, handbags, wallets, belts. He was an exquisite artist. I just, there's no other way to say that. And the one thing that I was handed down was his leather work patterns. And I don't know if you know anything about them. Sorry about that. But this is what they look like. It's just a clear acetate that has a raised... I don't even know if I'd be able to show you. It has a raised design on it. So that when you put it down on your, on your leather and burnish it, it leaves an impression for you to work with. Well, of course it works on clay, Lynn. How long would that take you to figure out? Evidently, quite a while. So, I'm going to be using some of these. So, this one right here that says handcrafted is the one that I the, the one that I did the test with. So, I don't know how I'd be able to use it. Go back with a white pen, maybe, and uh, put my name on there. But this is just painted black and sprayed with a couple of colors of Lindy Stamp Gang. That new, um, mm -hmm. the teal, <laughs> the teal one and the copper one out of the Autumn Leaves collection. I don't know what they're called. So. There's that. It's all I've been up to. Not really, but <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be right back with the, uh, Many of them. I've actually got three, well, two now that I finished the first one. I've got two other mini albums in the in the works, in the process. They're both about to the same, to the same place. And here's one of them, just the beginning of the cover. <coughs> and it's dark right now, but it won't be that dark. And I don't have the other one close enough to show you, so I shall return. Holler at y'all in a little bit. Bye now.